Hi everyone. So, video number two for ground fighting in Krav Maga at Kaya. Um, let's add some stuff about use of force and some other considerations for ground fighting. So, um, one of the statistics that often comes up when people talk about self-defense and ground fighting is something like 90% of fights end up on the ground. That is actually not accurate. That statistic comes from specific research in the United States that related to uh, police officers who were required to take people to the ground in order to handcuff them. Okay, so that is not the case. That being said, we often see uh, real-world violence and, and altercations happen in extremely close quarters, which quite often means that we'll end up in some form of grappling and may end up on the ground. So being able to grapple and being able to do that standing up and on the ground is incredibly important for our toolkit. Like, we have to be able to do it. How does use of force come into that? So, a couple of things, right? Generally speaking, the force will look at, or the law, rather, will look at somebody standing up and somebody on the ground as having different options. In other words, if, I, if I'm on the ground and somebody is standing in front of me and trying to hit me, right, they're using a higher level of force, and most of the time that means I have you know, a, a right and an obligation to protect myself by matching that level of force. Um, where that might change is where the situation is reversed. Let's say um, I'm tussling with somebody in whatever situation, and I end up getting them on the ground and I fall up on top of them. Now, if I sit on top of them and start smashing them, that might not actually classify as self-defense anymore. Right? So we need to be aware of that. If we're in a dominant position, in a ground fighting situation, right, there are repercussions to us escalating the level of force. And really, our goal and our outcome in any type of grappling situation that involves the ground should be get back up to your feet as quickly as possible. If I'm in the bottom, the person is on top of me and they're hitting, then there may be a time where I can look at striking, chokes, breaks, so on and so forth. Um, but even those should facilitate me getting back up to my feet. So if somebody is on top of me, right, and I am able to sweep them, right, what I need to be able to do is then get up and get away as safely as possible. That may not necessarily involve transitioning to a different position and then breaking both arms and then choking them out. Okay, so a couple of things to then consider when we talk about use of force and ground fighting. Remember, we don't want to be on the ground and our main objective, if we do find ourselves there, is to get up as safely and as quickly as possible.